I want to know, do you think, in your opinion, is what Trenches News doing, is that okay? You know, he was uh, uh, he was riding with FBG, he knew Duck, you know, he looking out for Duck, that was his homie, you know, he gonna support it. Or do you look at him like, you know, that's some snitch shit or something like that? You know, people have their own opinions on it. I want to know, how do X-Man Rico feel about that? Now, he is a fellow blogger, you know? So, for sure. First name first. I gotta say this, bro. I gotta say this. Because when we talk about these rappers, bro, it's no personal feelings, right? It's nothing like that, nothing like that. It's just us doing our job. So I covered that shit. And Trish's News felt some type of way about me doing that. And the reason he felt that way is because me and him had a pretty good relationship. Right. When my mama died, it was him, Chris Barnes, AK47, hit me up like condolences, don't quit. Don't quit, cause I was saying, bro, I don't know if I'm gonna do this shit. Like I don't, right. and I stopped for like two and a half months. I just stopped. I was getting paid and everything. I just stopped, and I came back my first block to block, and he kept hitting me up weekly, like, yo, what's going on, man? Get another interview, busting, man. Do something. What right. you doing? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, bro, don't stop, man. Come on, man. Keep, you know, come on, Rico, man, bro. You, ooh, ooh. Right. and he give me my props, tell me other shit that I, and so I'm like. You know, that and my other motivation, but that led, that was motivation, too. Like, man, bro, I'm tweaking. Let me get out this funk. My right. mama don't want me to quit. Right. You know, she watched my shit, too. She shared it. She loved it. She right. loved how I found, I found a way to make money off talking. So I'm like, man, so I use that and people wanted me to keep going as the way to keep going. So when he snitched like that, bro, it hurt my heart a little bit because we'd have had conversations about some street <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. About where I'm from and about just different people he know from, uh... My neighborhood, and it was just like, damn, you? You snitching? They were blogger, they already think bloggers pussy. So now you snitching, gang? They go, people, let them call me a snitch too. <laughs> damn it. Because we talking about the same shit. So you do consider what he doing as snitching? He snitching, bro. He snitching. He took the stand. And if he didn't, he will. Or he, or he made a statement. That, that, that that's crazy. Like what the fuck? Like, come on, man. Like, I, like, do you know why they say he did it? Okay, I wanna know why. I heard, so this is unconfirmed. Cause I ain't, I asked him when I DM. I thought you know what I'm saying. Just the it ain't no relationship. It ain't like Trisha News, my friend or my best friend. But we had a good rapport to the point where he cool. You know, motherfuckers like man, he cool. Yeah, I used to speak to him in the DM, and I wanna be honest too before you finish. He used to tell me. Shit like that too, you know. Yeah. To go ahead, get with it, and you know and stuff. And like he that. also did. Yeah. did well, um, I think I heard you say this on Ken Capone. He used to tell you shit, information. Yeah. He's doing with me too. Like clarify this. Hey, Rico, this happened. Right. Certain shit he couldn't talk on. He'll give me the alley oop. That's what I'm saying. Like he ain't never did shit. To ever disrespect since he me. went, ever since his name hit like the Chicago Sun Times newspaper. <laughs> He blocked me on Instagram, though. I will say that, though. You know. He, he ain't block me, me, but. And did some police ass video inside a fake courtroom and said my name in it and stuff like that. Mm. I thought yeah. that was very policey. You know, they're watching him. He's going to be testifying in duck case and he's <laughs> doing some video inside a fake courtroom and my name came up in the shit. I don't know why, but, you know, uh-huh. I just told him leave me out the police thing, you know. All the police shit, that's for him. And just leave me to the blog. You know? We're not being policey. Right. No, <laughs> but no, right. man, seriously, though. The way I look at it, I'm just, I said all that to pretty much say my opinion that I gave on it. And I was doing this because I don't want to be unbiased. I took some time. Right. I didn't report on it immediately. When it first came out, I took a week and a half to hit him up because I was just on his laugh. He was promoting his book. And he was, Rico, I love that block to block shit. That's going to pop. He's like, right. I can see you getting some shit, some prayer behind that, bro. Keep doing the block to block. And that happened. And so I'm like, I got to hit him up. I hit his line every day for a couple of days to see if he was going to respond. Like, hey, bro, is this true? Uh-huh. Woo, woo. He never responded <laughs> right. to it, bro. He never responded to it. And somebody was like, man, Rico, they de- I was getting DMs, bro. Hey, man, Rico, you ain't going to talk about this? You ain't going to talk right. about that? I'm like, man, let me give, go ahead and give my 10. And what he did was wrong. I don't condone nobody snitching because I would never snitch, bro. Right. Never. You'll never see no geeshy shit or snitch shit about Rico name. You might hear dirty before, broke before. You feel me? Just anything you might hear will never be that. Them two things. Nah, I totally get you on that. But as of right now, you haven't spoke with him, y'all relationship. I did another video about him because the person that's Trenches News reporting to to the FBI is also the dude that's involved investigating the case with Drench Gang and Shoot a Shield. So I said this might be some potential connection. And he DM'd me, he ignored the other questions and DM'd me like, yo, 
I ain't got shit to do with that. You'll never see my name in that paperwork. Ooh, that ain't me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, nah, bro, I'm going to let you get your money, but that ain't me. I'm going to do ooh, ooh, and I'm, I'm like, shit. Then I asked him again, like, what about the other shit? Could you clarify? And just, he ain't hit my line. But it's like one of those things where I'm just doing my job. Right. Like, if some fool shit happened on me, I won't get mad if you report on the truth, Tucker. I get you. I won't be mad. Me personally, if they say anything about Rico, Rico got hit by a car. You put on that or Rico got robbed. <laughs> you put on that and then make the news. That's what you got to do, bro. Yeah. That's how Ain't no getting be. robbed. <laughs> 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 right. Ain't no getting robbed. It's shit over But, yeah, for sure. Like if you hit, if, 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 they ain't lying, but if it was to ever happen, because I ain't untouchable, I'm going to get mad if somebody put on me. Most definitely gonna be hard. You know, I I didn't know if I was gonna ask this question, but I am gonna ask this since you're here. And this not to be instigating or anything like that, but you know, it did show up on the blog site that it was kind of like a situation, uh, like an issue between you and Mama Duck. How? F B G Duck Mama. Uh huh. Did you did you get past that? Is you still holding on to that a little bit? Ooh, that motherfucker. Ooh, shit. Both mm-hmm. of them, y'all heard that? <laughs> that motherfucker crack. I swear to God, usually only one side crack. Both of them never do. But on a serious note, though, man. On a serious note, bro. Motherfucking. I gotta clarify this. Mama Duck, Sheena. Sheena, baby. It <laughs> ain't no smoke. It's me and Rico don't got no. I love the mamas. I don't fall like Martin love the kids. Rico love the mamas. I ain't got no beef for nobody because my mama gone and I would kill somebody if they disrespect my mama, man. Like, you feel me? Like, it, it, it's the thing. I don't play by people's mamas. I was raised that way. And the beef with mama duck just come from me sure, trying to show respect like I did to Muwap mama. Right. I think I did a video before saying, like, when she said a video, she did an interview with, 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 with Drea O. And she was talking about an advanced duck guy or some shit like that. And she was like, 10 G's, baby. And I, I made that voice, and I said some other shit, and she ain't like that shit, bro. And so other people ain't like that shit. So that's how I end up, <laughs> seriously, bro. <laughs> and that's how I end up linking up, talking to Ruka Daddy. Because I said some shit about her tongue ring. Right. And I never disrespected, but y'all know me. I'm a funny motherfucker, bro. Like, I came in this blogging shit trying to be on some blogging comedian shit first, bro. Right. I just got serious. But... That's how I met Ruger Daddy. He was like, man, don't, don't, that's, don't, you know, that's my cousin, man. I can't hear no shit like that. And I'm like, my fault. And we built a relationship. Big Shout out Les. Right? Yeah, Shout out Big Les. Shout out Big Les. And he was another one of them people, you know, put me to the side. But back on Mama Duck. So I, just, I'm just giving y'all the history. All that shit was going on. I interviewed Manny. Remember? Manny? Yeah. Right after you interviewed him, I'm like, man, I got to interview this nigga. And shout out FBG Prince. You know, he hit me up like, yo, I fuck with your channel. He put butter on my channel after he did uh, butter. Shout out Prince. Shout out Prince. But Prince brought butter to my channel. After butter, he brought um, he brought motherfucking Manny. Manny hit me up. He called me like, "Yo, man, I like how you do that shit. You're not biased. You just get straight to the point. You funny. Just, just holler at me. Let's do it. We set it up and did it. So Mama Duck was in the comment section. Uh, she was in the comment section the whole time, commenting uh, shit. And just like I think Lil' Jay was in the Butter video. But the people don't know, Manny is like Cash and Young Daddy. That's their daddy duck former okay. manager. Okay. And so and so she was in the comment section. Manny even said he was he was drinking some little pink shit. And he was getting a little, he was talking his shit that night. He was like, man, Joe, j- come on, Sheena, join it. Join it, Sheena, come on. <laughs> come on, Sheena. It's all love, man. Hey, Rico, it ain't no beef. I keep telling you, it ain't no beef. Join it. Hit the link, Sheena. She never clicked it. I ended up talking to some other people behind the scenes. She wanted to get paid. Long story short, we was in the DMs before. She hit me up like Moo Mama did, not disrespectful or nothing. And she got to her son Campbell. She tried to get her son Campbell a stripe, and she said she gave everybody who ever used any of her content a stripe. But Sheena, I do YouTube. I've been doing this shit since 2020. You manually put that in, and you before you get somebody a stripe, it tell you who they're giving it to. I don't have no problem with it, even though it was like five to ten seconds of whatever content of anybody's shit I used. Five, maybe 15, you know, and I speed up the voices here enough, it's longer. I, I give you a credit, and you, you know, she, 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 she gave a nigga a strike, man. She gave a nigga two, three strikes back to back after we was in the DMs, and she said, 
Hey, I don't like that video you did. It's okay if I re react to it. It's like she was giving me a pull up, like, yo, I'm finna talk a little shit, but it's okay if I do it and use your video. That's fine, Sheena. Go ahead. Go ahead. I ain't tripping. I'm oh, fool. Go ahead. I ain't tripping, man. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Wait. Let me. Yo, hey, I'm doing this interview. Let me call you right back. But motherfucking, yeah. And so she said she was gonna give a motherfucker, um, it was okay for me to use her shit like she used my shit. She got to it because Hassan gave me some strikes. I asked her about it and she started talking to me like she a gang member, bro. Telling me to suck her dick and I'm chasing cloud and you a bitch ass nigga. No nah, type of shit, bro. Just going crazy on me, falling out. I still kept her respectful. I talked my shit back, but I ain't cuss her out. I ain't use curse words. And you know she started going live about me. Now she act like whenever I responded to it on my video, I never made a video about it. Now you chasing, you chasing clout. Keep talking about me, but you talk about me all the time. You keep talking shit, but it, it ain't no beef. I want to know that though, you know, because I did see that trending on the internet. It was most shit too with that shit, but it's just I just gave you the the the, the short story. You know what I'm saying? People picking sides, man. That shit too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, you said butter name a few minutes ago. Uh-huh.